This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to modify the depth of field of a photo to make it seem like there's less of a photo that is on in focus. A lot of times, and let me just show you here with a photo, a lot of times with digital cameras what you get is when you take a picture, um, even though your main subject matter here would be the boy here, um, everything else tends to be in focus because of the way that image sensors work, uh, the small image sensors in, uh, in modern um, digital cameras. So what you usually want to do is when you're taking a photo like this is you usually want to have just the boy in focus and make everything else uh, a bit blurry so that uh, it just really makes the boy stand out as opposed to everything in the picture at once. So uh, to do that, what we need to do is uh, duplicate our layer. So we're just going to use a shortcut that we've learned. It's um, Control and J, and that will duplicate the layer, right? Or we can just drag it over here to the new layer icon. The shortcut is Control and J. We have a new layer here. And making sure we are on the duplicated layer, what we need to go is uh, do a filter, blur, lens blur. Now, if you're using an older version of Photoshop and you do not have lens blur, you can use the Gaussian blur. But lens blur will give you a more realistic effect. So if you have that, you're welcome to use it. So let's have a look here at lens blur. Um, what we want to do here is not play around with that many settings. Is uh, We just want to here zoom in. You don't want to pay attention to your main subject matter here. You want to pay attention to the other stuff. And you want to apply a amount of blur that uh, that you're happy with. And you can do that here with the radius. right? If we increase the radius, that's obviously way too much. So something along, along for this image here along the lines of 6 will do. So we're just going to head and set this on 6, everything else on default, and click OK. So here we have our focus image. So if we unview it, we have our on focus and out of focus, right? Okay. Now what we need to do is add a layer mask and bring through the uh, the boy that's on focus. So we're going to add the layer mask here with this uh, icon here for adding the layer mask. And now with our brush tool, making sure that we are on um, black and white here. If you're not, press the D key, D for dog. You will get uh, a white to black. And basically what you want to do is just press X if you're not on black as your foreground. Black will make your image... Uh, that's underneath the layer show through, right? We're just punching a hole. So black will make it seem like there's a hole here. That's what we're doing, essentially. And we're bringing through the image of the boy. So you just do that uh, carefully, varying your brush size as you get to the edges. And the one thing about this, um, doing this, is that you'll you'll generally find that, even though you probably can't notice, and I'm just going to zoom in here, um, you probably have some holes, even when you're still, when you think you're done. Uh, the best way to find out if you actually have the whole area of the boy, for example, um, done correctly, is to just look at your um, layer mask here, press Alt and click, and that will bring up the black areas that we've been trying to, break, to bring through. So, for example, here I've missed in all the white bits, so it's always a good idea to just use Alt and click to bring that in and uh, actually um, fill that in with black. Now, for example, here I'm not too sure. I'm just going to go ahead and, oh, yeah, that's right. That's supposed to be filled there. So we're just going to fill that there. And here's there's that hole there. So that's looking okay. And what do we have here? This is an all image area that's supposed to be covered. So basically with this image here, let's bring this, okay, we're missing that bottom part here. Okay, so there we are. So this is basically what we need to do to uh, mask out the boy, right? We're just doing Alt-Click to get out of it again, just Alt and click again on the mask, right? So, and there you are. So we've uh, we've uh, done the uh, depth of field. If you want to do the before and the after, there's the before and there's the after, right? And uh, if you wanted to actually mix and match a bit, what you can do is um, just uh, change the opacity of the top layer to something a little bit less. Right, if you want to just bring some subtlety in, a uh, bit, bit of mixing around from the uh, of the blur and the non-blur states, right? So you can do that, play around with a bit of the opacity. But that pretty much is it, how to do this step. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.